Well, good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Chesley McNeil. We're tracking a line of showers and thunderstorms back off to the west of us that are making their way down to the south and east. And as they move in, we're seeing some wind starting to pick up a little bit. In fact, we have a severe thunderstorm warning right now for parts of Tatuga and northwestern portions of Floyd County. You can see almost a triangle here. Watching these thunderstorms begin to move through the Somerville area right now. And uh, there are reports of winds up to about 60 miles per hour. So that's something I have to watch out for as these storms continue to push in. The good news with this is that they're showing some signs of weakening as they continue to push further down to the south and east. But right now, winds being reported up to 60 miles per hour over the Somerville area. Northern parts of Floyd County included in this, not into the Rome area, but certainly Rome, you have to be on the lookout for this. This severe thunderstorm warning is set to expire around 915, and so we'll continue to watch that as it continues to push in. This line has a history of producing brief spin-up tornadoes. Back off to the west of us, over into parts of Alabama, these are a little bit stronger. We still have a few severe thunderstorm warnings, even at extending over toward the Gaston area, but some good news with this as well is they're showing some signs of weakening as they head down toward the Aniston area, something I will continue to watch out for. As they continue to weaken, there could still be some isolated spots that will have a severe thunderstorm uh, with it, meaning those winds again up to about 60 miles per hour. So far, nothing severe up here to the north where it's been raining a bit heavier up toward the Dade Walker area. The thunderstorms at least have passed through the Lafayette area. We'll continue to slide further down to the north Gordon County. You're under the gun now with some uh, strong thunderstorms coming your way. They are producing winds up to about 40 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour, so be on the lookout. That's not at severe weather criteria, but uh, still, you got some nuisance weather coming your way with that heavy rain. This line itself will continue to slide down to the south and will break up as it moves toward the metro area, meaning that uh, it'll start to fall apart a little bit where we'll have some pockets of very heavy rain, some few lightning strikes associated with it, and it's in those thunderstorms where we could get a pocket of severe weather. And so something that we'll continue to watch for and track as we continue to head through the rest of the morning. But you can see those severe thunderstorm warnings extended back into parts of Alabama, over toward Gadsden, Jacksonville, down toward Anniston, uh, Cedartown. Be on the lookout for some heavy rain at least, but there could could be some gusty winds associated with a few of those thunderstorms as well as this line begins to make its way further down to the south. By the time they get to Dallas, I think a lot of that will begin to break up. A lot of the lightning strikes will begin to subside. You'll get some heavy rain here as well. There may be a couple gusts of wind, certainly down toward the Atlanta metro area as well. We saw a few isolated thunderstorms popping up over toward the east ahead of this line, and now that's starting to push further into South Carolina, moving out of our area. It was over toward the Hartwell area, now moving east of that into South Carolina. You got a few back up toward Tacoa as well, but a lot of that starting to die off as well. This is the major line that we've been looking at. We've been tracking it really all morning long, very strong over into northern parts of Mississippi, uh, now into Alabama, and now uh, pushing into our state as we speak. But a lot of this will start to fall apart as it moves to the south. Good news for us. It's even starting to fall apart over into Alabama as well. Uh, you can see where we have one uh, severe thunderstorm warning that's over into Mississippi. It hasn't even made it into uh, the, the Alabama area yet, but that line where it was very strong now starting to fall apart. That's what we're going to be seeing as we head through the rest of the morning. And so that's some good news for us right there. A good sign, at least, as it continues to push to the south. Once it gets south of us, just uh, our southern towns, say, let's say Henry County, Spalding County, could fire back up. This all ahead of a front that's making its way down into the area. And so uh, we could see some uh, resurgence with this line a little bit later on uh, this afternoon down to the south. You can see where we have a severe weather threat. Now, it's a level one threat. You look at the margin up here to the top, it shows zero out of a possible five. We have a level one or a marginal risk for severe weather from Rome, Atlanta, over toward Athens, down through uh, Macon for our particular area here. What does that mean? Well, for us, isolated strong to severe thunderstorms are possible. We'll have a few here and there. Not all of the thunderstorms will be on the severe side, but maybe a few that will pop up that will produce winds up to about 58 miles per hour or greater than that. And so that's what we'll have to be on the lookout for as we head through the afternoon uh, for today. Uh, you're looking at our seven day outlook and it does show we'll, where we'll keep the chance for the showers in the forecast at least uh, through the weekend, but they're very low threats for rain. We're looking at that front. It's going to stall down to the south of us. And uh, depending on how far south that front goes means the drier scenario for us. Now, if it hangs out a little bit closer, we'll be upping those, uh, the, at least the potential for the rain to be around. And so that's something that we'll be watching out for. Once again, a severe thunderstorm warning that is now in effect. It won't expire for another, or it's not at least set to expire for another uh, 30 minutes or so. This is mainly over toward the uh, Chattooga area right now, Chattooga County. 
into northwestern portions of Floyd County. It does not include Rome, but you're in and around that area. And so you'll have to be on the lookout for a some heavy rain, but a couple of those thunderstorms that come over your area could produce some gusty winds so here. Here's a better look at it now. It's almost like a triangle that includes Somerville almost down into the Rome area. Severe thunderstorm warning that will last until 9.15 a.m. Uh, as this storm continues to push further in. Some good signs with this where we had some intense reds in here when it was further back off to the west. We're starting to see that begin to let up just a little bit. You have just a few lightning strikes associated with this, but it does extend back into parts of Alabama. Some stronger storms uh, down toward the Jacksonville area into Alabama. Uh, that will continue to slide over toward the east. We're still anticipating what you see there even to weaken a little bit as it moves a little bit further down to the south, south of uh, Polk County, Cedartown there. You're just now starting to get in on enough, maybe a few sprinkles, but some heavy rain will be coming your way uh, momentarily. So it's something I have to be on the lookout for. Again, you can see the numerous lightning strikes associated with this. They're starting to break up. Where we had them, they were very well organized back off to the west. It's starting to break up just a little bit. So once again, some good signs in here, but it's something that we have to continue to watch because this line has had the potential of producing uh, at least Doppler indicated tornadoes. We've seen some, seeing some spin in the higher elevations showing us that on the radar. Not that it has, has reached the ground, but there have, were reports of at least tornadoes back off toward the west of us. Very isolated, but as long as that line is moving through, we'll watch for that potential. Now, our threat for tornadoes today is very low. All right, especially as this line continues to fall apart. We're on the low end of the threat for severe weather. Excuse me, let me uh, turn this phone off real quick here. All right, uh, so uh, we'll continue to watch that as uh, that line continues to push further off toward the east. But once again, a good sign that the uh, line is starting to weaken just a little bit. Well, you can see a lot of that intense red that we had back off to the west. As that begins to let up, you're going to see more widespread moderate rainfall and also some of that orange that's in here as well uh, continue to spread out just a little bit. So we're going to wind up having widespread showers over us. They will be heavy to moderate to light rain around, especially for this morning. I think by the time we get to the afternoon, you're talking about more scattered showers. What's behind this particular line here? What's behind that? We'll watch that as it continues to uh, uh, continue to move further down to the south of our particular area. So we'll continue to watch that as we go and keep you updated as we go along. We're going to watch it really all morning long until the threat at least is over for our area. We'll continue to keep you updated right here on 11 Live Plus.